Scooter. Hey. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Is my sister harassing you backstage? <laughs> We're having a good time. Yeah. Oh. Getting acquainted. Not too good, I hope. No. I need to good. rub this in. I need to use this over our head for another year. <laughs> now, we had so much fun back in L.A. We did. That we was met a fun... that time at the Terra Sushi restaurant. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable how many people watch the show, because the, I've been doing Party of Five for three years, and more people in the past three months have come up to me and gone, hey, man, you were great on Rosie. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, thank you, thank you. And, and you know, you've seen Party of Five, and they're like, y you rocked on Rosie, <laughs> man. <laughs> well, I watch it, and yes, I you love do. it. And I watched the season premiere on tape. My sister didn't. You got and to see uh, it. I got to see it. Ooh, big stuff happening. Yeah, crazy stuff. Bailey, you're in AA, five months, you're doing yeah. well. Yeah, he's been he's been getting so you know, he's sober. He cleaned himself up at the end of the last season. But uh, this this the beginning of this season sort of focuses on how the problem doesn't just go away just because he decides to get better and there's certain people who aren't gonna forgive what he did. And, right. And Sarah so. still in the picture kinda. Yeah, she's still in the picture. Um, they wind up living together out of, out of necessity, sort of, but um, there is a new love interest that, that finds her way into Bailey's really? life. Really? Yeah. Who would that be? Um, it's a, a girl that he actually meets in the program, in Alcoholics Anonymous, and which the, the story there is you're not mm. supposed to, in a, you're not supposed to have any, like, major life changes in the first year of your sobriety, so uh, he's advised to avoid it, and they just sort of, and who's the actress other. who's going to play that? Uh, her name's Paige Turco. And you might know her from NYPD Blue. Yes. Or, uh, and also All My Children. All My Children, yes. She was on All My Children. Yeah, she's great. So well, she plays I can hardly wait for that scooter. The older women. <laughs> now, you're home here in New York. You're just visiting doing this, right? Yes, I'm from uh, West Orange, New Jersey. You Anybody? are? A There's a comedy club there that I worked, Rascals Comedy Club. Yeah. You ever go there? Yes. You did? Yes. Good pizza. Good pizza. That's Rascals. right. They did. They used to have a video arcade upstairs, too. Yeah. It's funny. I went back there um, recently. I guess it was like six months ago. And I wanted to see my old house because it's been, you know, 10 years since I've been there. So I go back and I, I don't even think twice. You know, I don't think it's weird that I'm walking up and knocking on someone's door. But uh, I go to the house and I ring the doorbell and I was with my mom and my ex girlfriend. The lady opens the door, and I started to explain, you know, why I was there. I'm like, hi, um, my name is Scott, and, and uh, I, a few years ago, I, and she freaks out, and she's like, oh, my God, honey, get Jessica, get Jessica. <laughs> and I was like, wait a second, wait a second, you, you don't understand, I used to live here, and they had a 16-year-old daughter oh, who, boy. who actually lives in my room now. And no so she kidding. Was yeah. So she was excited to hear about Did that. Did you go in the house and look at the rooms and everything? Yeah, we, 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 they actually let us in and take the tour of the house. Were it's there posters weird. of you up in your bedroom? That would have been weird. There were. There were? Yes. No way! Yeah. The girl had posters of you? Yeah, which is really strange. Which is really strange, but it was cool. It was, it, and it was all like redecorated and everything. That's weird. Yeah, I yeah. went back to my old house too and did, did the same thing, yeah. It's weird. It smaller is. too. It's a lot smaller. That's Man. the biggest surprise. Yeah. And oh, my, my, my bedroom was actually the nursery, like when they built the house. Yeah. It was the kind of room where if you had a twin bed, you had to open the door part way and then scooch in, then close the door. Because <laughs> right. it was really just built for a crib. Right. And I remember I got, it was my own room, was a big thing. Yeah. And I went back and I saw it was like a cubby hole. <laughs> Tiny. It's like a squirrel couldn't go live in there. <laughs> I don't know how I survived. Well, we're going to talk more with you after this break, so please good. don't go anywhere. Okay, Scott good. Wolf after this. Yeah, right. <laughs> Wednesday night is the season premiere of Party of Five on Fox <laughs> Definitely tune in. It's a great, great episode. I really loved it. I'm glad. So dramatic. It is very dramatic. <laughs> very, although the funny part with your older brother and your younger brother. Oh, my God. That's a cute little storyline yeah. they're going through. It's hilarious. He likes to play with dolls and the older brother's freaking out. That the baby <laughs> brother who's five likes to play with dolls. It's pretty funny. <laughs> so um, you watch a lot of TV? You a big fan? Too? Yeah, I do like TV. Did you I, see the Emmys? Uh, I didn't. No. I didn't. I know I know a couple people from, I think Dennis Franz won, right? Yes, he did. For NYPD Blue, Second. which is my favorite show. It right? is. Yeah. I love that show. Great show. Very good. Kim Delaney won as well. She did. Good. Yeah. She's fantastic. Yeah, it's just, I like the fact that they don't, they don't rely on being a cop show and every other minute someone's drawing a gun and throwing cuffs on somebody. It's about people and their relationships. And, and you never know when you're going to see a nude butt, which is always a nice thing. Yes, it's a good thing on a show. Keeps you on the edge of your seat. Surprise, another hiney. And That's another what hiney. I always say. Yeah. Now, this summer you did a play. I did. Where'd you did. do a play? Uh, up in Williamstown, Massachusetts, at the Williamstown Theater Festival, a play called Dead End, an old uh, Sidney Kingsley play. And it was just the best time of my life. Unbelievable people. Um, 
some great actors and an unbelievable director, Nicky Martin. And uh, and actually, it was there was it was pretty incredible because some amazing people come through there. Um, I met Christopher Reeves up there. He had come to see the show. And uh, at one point, we were backstage, and you kind of never know who's going to pop in there. Right. We were backstage, sort of getting dressed, and someone tapped me on the shoulder, and I turned around, and it was Paul Newman. And yeah. <laughs> Uh, what did he say? He said, I, 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 I went into a fog, so I'm not exactly sure, but it was something like, you know, you know, terrific job tonight and really love the show. And he and Joanne Woodward, his wife, were there. And so I just stood there going like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, you know, oh, my God. I said that like 11 times. <laughs> and then, and finally, like, someone needed to say something. And it's one of those moments. He is, if there's one actor that I would want to emulate as, as, a, as a human being and as an actor, an artist, it would be Paul Newman, and so. Gotta agree with yeah. you on that one. Amazing amount of work he does. So, so there was this sort of moment of silence, and then I leaned over and I said, "It's really, an, it's it's an honor to meet you." Only what I actually said was like, "Salam and Nietzsche. <laughs> and, and he was so great because he, he just kind of looked at me and he went, "What?" <laughs> and, and that's a hard thing to say once, but I, I said it again. I just said, I'm, I'm sorry. I just said it was an honor to meet you. And he was yeah. incredibly gracious. And, yeah, and those eyes, great. boy. Doesn't he have amazing Unbelievable. eyes? They're like, Unbelievable. They catch you across the room. Yeah, he's incredible. He was Strikingly great handsome, he really is. Yeah. Bailey, very popular name now. You taking a little credit for that? I don't know. I guess, I guess you know, Chris and Amy, the, the creators of the show, deserve the credit for it. But it's, see, I've heard people naming babies uh, Bailey, but. It seems like more people are naming their dogs Baileys, which oh, is... Oh, really? I don't know exactly how to take that. I don't yeah. know if that's a... Is that an insult? Good, I don't know. People in the audience say, this is my puppy, Rosie O'Doggle. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I think. <laughs> I don't know, you know. Uh, you, you know, Melissa Etheridge and Julie Seifer, their baby is Bailey. Really? And I know two of my friends just named a baby with Bailey in the middle name. Really? But I never heard of it as, an, as a name of a... Um, Adult. I only heard of it as Irish cream. Uh, That's what I think of. It's like, you know, naming somebody... After a drink. Stolies. This is my son Stolies, you know? <laughs> I don't know. To me, that's what I think. i clap for that. <laughs> so you're back at work. It's a, it's a grueling shooting schedule. Is it five or six days? What do you do? We do five days, that's five good. day weeks. But there are five, like, 14-hour days. And our, we have a great crew, and everyone works... Long, hard, long hours. But we, we really do have this great family on the set, which makes it, you know. I was on the set once, do you remember? <laughs> you were. You were so funny. It, this last year during the whole the storyline where, uh, where Bailey's involved with Callie, and you yeah. didn't like that No, I did much. not. And Callie, can I say something? Callie equals tramp. <laughs> that's no, that's what. <laughs> so we're in this car, and it was Sarah. It was uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt and I, and we're, we're getting ready to shoot the scene, and Rosie walks by, and she screams out, what did you say? Uh, you better sleep with him or you're going to lose him to that tramp. That's right. Because Sarah was sort of holding out, exactly. remember? And you were getting it from, you know, yeah. from, it you know, 7-Eleven never closes that uh, Cali. <laughs> Please. I didn't like her one bit. Nice actress. Yeah. Alexandra's great. Well, I will be glued to my TV as I am every Wednesday. Now, my sister Maureen wants to meet you. Would you mind uh, uh, hanging with her after the I show? I would love to. Ashley Scott, you know what? I just remember, we don't have time for that. We have <laughs> to have you go do some interviews, so you're not going to get okay, to see her. Okay, that's too bad. Is that all right? Yeah, tell her I said hello. I sure will. Okay. <laughs> she took the soda once and threw it down the Dumped sink. Dumped it right Didn't out. Didn't let me have any. Payback is tough. <laughs> we'll be right back after this break.